How did an MLB doubleheader lead to the death of the music genre? Back in the summer of 79, the White Sox were in the midst of another lackluster season. Promoter Mike Vec needed fans in the seats, and he knew just how to do it. As big as disco was, there was an equally large group of people that despised it. Mike understood this and seized the moment. This is now officially the world's largest anti-disco rally! Disco Demolition Night was a promotion that offered 98 cent tickets to any fans who brought disco records into Comiskey Park. The records were to be set on fire between games, marking the death of disco. But as you probably guessed, things went horribly, horribly wrong. The Sox expected 20,000 baseball fans and received 55,000 drunken disco haters. But the real fireworks came between games. The drunken fans turned the field into a festival. They lit a bonfire in center and turned the foul poles into a slide. Comiskey Park looked more like a battlefield than a baseball diamond. The Sox were forced to forfeit, but the radio DJs did stop playing disco. Throw me a follow if you didn't know this. If you did, I'll sort it for a like.